Your days are numbered, bat freak. We'll see each other again. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Keep one eye in the sky, jerk-offs. Heavens are gonna fall on your goddamn heads. Tell me all about it down at the precinct. The Riddler's right hand in custody, not a bad result, all told. Riddler used to leave clues at all his crime scenes. Always thought he was smarter than the people trying to catch him. Thought we could use help dragging him down. He was smart enough to slip through our fingers. Yeah, and leave a bloody mess in his wake. Riddler's heyday was a dark time in Gotham. Remember what we just saw? He hasn't mellowed with age. Uh-huh. Get Fernandez on it right away. Commissioner Gordon. Brace yourself. Just so you know, this woman has a lot of juice with the governor. Rub her the wrong way, I could end up on foot patrol till I retire. My people are trained for situations like this, Gordon. We'd have Riddler in custody if you'd only picked up the phone. So, you're the legendary Batman. I've heard a great deal about you. So much so, I don't know if I should believe the hype. And you are. This is Amanda Waller, director of the agency. What are the feds doing here? Riddler's their case. The GCPD has been asked to open our doors to them. Give them whatever they need. We've been tracking that maniac for some time. No one knows more about him than we do. World-class criminals like Riddler they're kind of our specialty. If you were tracking him, why didn't you tell us he was coming? We get a lot of unverified reports. I wanted to be sure. Now we know. Riddler used to be a player in Gotham back when Thomas Wayne and Falcone ran the city. He disappeared so suddenly and for so long, everyone thought he was dead. <laughs> everyone was wrong. Riddler's back. And if these theatrics are anything to go by, he wants the whole city to know. My people tell me you did some good work handling him, Batman. You and me? I bet we'd make a damn fine team. I heard how you dealt with Lady Arkham. Not to mention that filth, Oswald Cobblepot. We could do great things together if we joined forces. I work with Gordon. No one else. I appreciate loyalty. But that there, that's the issue. The only real problem with your setup is who you're working with. Local law enforcement clearly can't cut I got a local crime rate says otherwise. <laughs> Ms. Waller- Please, Commissioner. What was that charge of the light brigade crack with the riot shields? Good cops got hurt because of it. Not to mention you let Riddler slip through your fingers. You GCPD cowboys clearly don't know what you're doing. You're putting all this on me? You're the commanding officer, aren't you? Or are those stars purely for show? Things could have gone better. <laughs> That's an understatement. The GCPD don't have the training to deal with maniacs like Riddler. They didn't back in the day. They don't now. Yeah, thanks for the support. I know it doesn't feel like it, Commissioner, but I'm here to help. Batman gets it. I gotta get a security detail on Mori while he's in the hospital. Agent Avesta will fill you in on what we know so far. As a token of interdepartmental cooperation. The nerve on her. Don't tell these people a thing, especially about that puzzle. This is our town. We're the ones that'll catch Riddler. Think you made a good impression, Batman. My boss isn't usually that nice. <sighs> I'd like to see her on a bad day. Special Agent in Monta Vesta, Field Intelligence Specialist on the Riddler case. And my partner, Agent Blake. How do you do? I put together this psychological profile of Riddler. You'll see when you read it. He's... changed. For your eyes only, <laughs> if you catch my drift. The target of the casino attack, Rumi Mori. Any idea what Riddler wanted with him? We figure it has something to do with why he's back in Gotham. I heard them talking about some kind of deal. Any idea what? No. But it'd be safe to say they didn't come to terms. Thanks. That's a help. <clears throat> uh, 
I'm Gotham born and raised, you know. My dad ran a store in the shadow of City Stadium. I just wanted to say it's a real honor to meet you. I do have something I want to ask, though. The criminally insane. You're drawn to them, aren't you? There's something in you that pulls you towards the danger. Of course I am. They're an obvious target. Just like anyone who threatens Gotham's safety. Obvious for you? Most people just run the other way. I'm not most people. I think I know you a little better now. I'll be in touch. Agent. Batman, before you go, Gotham's your city. I respect that. I'm not here to step on any toes. Treat me and my people like partners. Promise you'll share anything on the Riddler. You and me aren't gonna have any problems at all. That's all. I just wanted to let you know where I stand. Full disclosure, Riddler left me this puzzle. What is it? I don't know yet. He said I had to solve it or people would get hurt. Then you best get on it. Let's keep being honest with each other. An eventful evening. I've taken the liberty of preparing some refreshments. Uh, thanks, Al. I need to focus. Maybe music will help. Can't go wrong with the classics. The computer is finished scanning the Riddler's puzzle box. It's ready when you are. Let's get to work. No explosives detected, no radioactivity. Nothing dangerous at all so far. Computer, run another scan. I want to be absolutely sure this thing is safe. Also, I took the liberty of digging up everything I could find on the agency. There's plenty here. Know your enemy and all that. It... it comes and goes. Ever since the kidnapping and... and all the other business with Lady Arkham. Alfred. <clears throat> no, no, don't you worry about me. I, I, I should be fine. It was worse after my first tour of duty. Alfred, it's clearly a problem. You should get it looked at. Uh, well, as you say, Bruce, it'll pass. Working always helps. Riddler terrorized this city long before you were Batman. Gotham's original costumed criminal. Yes, to have him returned, it's unsettling. I remember when he was the scourge of the underworld. Even Carmine Falcone gave him a wide berth. He was presumed dead for so long. Why come back to Gotham? Well, he seemed to have a prior relationship with Mori. Some kind of axe to grind. Let me upload the rest of this to the Codex. The agency realized Riddler was still alive when he orchestrated a prison break at Peña Duro. My men here say you let yourself get caught, Mr. Riddler. Just Riddler. Why willingly turn yourself in? Oh, Mr. Warden. To get everyone else out, of course. 
that wasn't obvious. The man is deranged. If you ask me, he needs help. He's clearly sick. The man is in urgent need of a doctor. His victims are the ones who need help. I'll concede you have a point. What was that? You should see your face. Its confusion is delightful. I think I'll take it with me. I take everything back. Agency. The public face of a shadow committee of military leaders, intelligence experts, and government officials. Civil rights violations, domestic black sites, decentralized accountability. This information, it's all before Waller took over the director position. Perhaps she's given them a new direction. Maybe, but the agency's empowered to override local law enforcement with impunity. Oh, that man's got some competition in town. I wonder if we need be worried about losing our unpaid and thoroughly exhausting job, I mean. We have a common enemy in the Riddler. That puts us on the same side. You really are a different Batman these days, aren't you? Silver linings in all things. Well, you warned me about keeping my paranoia down to acceptable levels. Thought I'd give it a try. Let's see what Riddler's little gift is all about. Solve my puzzle soon, or people will get hurt. Uh, Riddler's M.O. hasn't changed in all these years. There's writing engraved along the rim. I have an eye, yet cannot see. Who am I? That sounds familiar. I've heard it before. Don't happen to remember the answer, do you? Sadly, no. The eye of a hurricane. It fits the description in the riddle. But I'm not sure how it helps us. Even if there were hurricanes in Gotham, it's hard to imagine one helping us with the object in question. If that is indeed the key. Justice. How it relates to Batman, maybe. Lady Justice is blindfolded to show she's impartial. She has two eyes under the blindfold, though. Not one. So it's something else. He gave this to me at a casino. Card games. Maybe a jack. Specifically a one-eyed jack. But he's on the card twice, showing both eyes. Besides, he can still see. So it's probably not that. The eye of a needle. But how does that relate to the object in question? Maybe it's telling us how to use it. Ah, uh, sounds very plausible. Look at these strange grooves. Harvey Dent. He was a friend. Once. In the end, Harvey couldn't make a single decision without consulting his lucky coin. He's an Vicky Vale, a.k.a. Lady Arkham. Driven to madness, leader of the children of Arkham. Oswald Cobblepot, the Penguin, my oldest friend. Selina, she'll stay away if she knows what's good for her. Nina. 
needle. A record needle. Halfway there, Batman. Means you've got half a chance of stopping a whole lot of pain. To be honest, you're already doing better than I thought. But don't sit around feeling pleased with yourself. Unless you want to see me tear this city apart. I suppose you're going to look in there. An open invitation from the Riddler? Of course. Huh. Looks like I'm manipulating radio bands or waveforms. Something. I'm not sure what I'm looking at or how any of it is actually displaying. And that sound? What? Oh, uh... I'm not really sure about any of it. Get Lucius on the line, will you? Hey, Alfred. Good morning, Lucius. I hope we're not interrupting your breakfast. My youngest is probably stealing all the bacon, but duty calls. What's up? This is a puzzle from the Riddler. There's a strange waveform pattern I can manipulate inside that needs your expertise. I, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I can meet you at Wayne Tower in a little bit. We'll uh, fire up the R&D lab. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important, Lucius. No, no, don't worry about it. It's actually going to be a big day for me. Tiffany starts at Wayne Enterprises. Tiffany? Really? Your daughter working alongside you. How wonderful. Uh, certainly is. Bruce, I'll see you soon. Bye, Lucius. Can't wait to see Tiffany. I'll be at Wayne Tower. Good hunting, Bruce. Oh, excellent. Glad I caught you. I have some good news to share. Good to hear it, Regina. It's what I've come to expect, with you as Wayne Enterprises chairperson. I just talked to the board, and our stock price has doubled since you took the company back from Oswald Cobblepot. The Gazette's running a piece about it. Look, I would love to hear all the details, but I've got a meeting with Lucius I've got to run to. Well, I don't mean to pry, but what's in that case? Seems like an odd thing to be carrying around the office. Oh, just some tax papers. Accounting is doing an audit or something. Well, you shouldn't have to be burdened with that. I can take them. It's okay. I got it. Well, I've got a meeting I've got to run to. We'll pick up this conversation this afternoon. Sounds great. <laughs>